What's up guys, it's Light Sprawl here and today I'm bringing you a video of a Giants B10 farmable team that uses three Ifrits. Um, you can see here that I'm going to be using Amir, Theo, and Vero. And I'm choosing to use the Amir lead because I don't have accuracy on Bernard or Amir or Theo. So, and I, I don't need the extra HP to survive. So, I chose that lead. So, real quick, I'll go over why I pick or why I thought to make this team and like make a video on it. Um, so, as at least some of you guys will know, um, I can use a like full like YOLO team. Like, I don't use this team and I'm not really considering using it because it's not fast enough. Um, I've made a lot of videos on sub one minute teams if you want to check out some sub one minute teams that I've been using. But this team is about a two to two and a half minute team somewhere somewhere in there. Um, just depends on your luck and stuff. Um, there's no attack buff. So obviously if you had someone to put attack buff on then it would be quicker. But I don't have attack buff at least as of now. So um yeah basically the reason i decided to make this team was because um or i just i thought to make this team i was when i was thinking of making this team i built it around the uh triple efforts right here and i thought of them because well a i just think it's i always like making teams that have like doubles of monsters like of the different elements though so it has like two ifrits or whatever two griffins or two whatever in yugamis whatever the case would be and so i had three six star ifrits just because they're all farmable and they're all good so i took the time to get all three of them or what i, I have all four of them but i haven't six starred tessa yet um but these three are all pretty popular in giants i would say um, Amir is just a good AOE damage dealer. Theo is not the best in Giants, but people tend to use him because a lot of people give Theo some of their best damage dealer runes. So naturally he's going to do good damage if you have good damage runes on him. And then Vero, a lot of people don't really use him in speed teams, but in your first teams, he's really good because he'll do dots, stuns, and cleanse. I'm sure you guys know what Vero does. Um, but so that's kind of what made me uh think of this team so um it works well i like i said i don't run this team so i'm not going to go out of my way to test this team for 100 runs but i tried like five runs real quick and this is the sixth and it hasn't failed yet and like i said it's normally in between two and two and a half minutes this was 215 so if you can build this team um it's you know be aware of that's how fast it is uh so if you're already past this mark don't bother building it or if you're already at this mark don't bother with it um, but if you're not at this mark, you can build it if you want to. Uh, these are all monsters that people will typically have. Um, sometimes people don't get one of these two Ifrits or maybe even both. But now with the new Ifrit scroll, it's decently easy to get all three Ifrits after five scrolls. Because uh, all you need is within five Ifrit summons, you need to summon two of the three. And then on the fifth one, you can get your choice. So... Uh, that's what I did. I had to wait until the fifth Ifrit to get the Amir, but then I decided to go ahead and build him. And so Bernard and Bella are super popular in Giants. I'll show you one more run because I still have some more to say. And so uh, the way that this team or kind of works, and the re well, first I'll say why I'm using the accuracy leader instead of the other leaders. Um, I could use crit rate leader from Theo, but I decided not to use the crit rate because my um, Amir is already on max crit rate with the element advantage because he's on like 91, but so he gets whatever, 106 with element advantage. And then Theo is on 75, but he has his passive, so he's basically on um, 90. So I didn't really feel like using the crit rate lead because I didn't really need it. And then I could use the HP lead, but I figured I'd rather use the accuracy because my Bernard, Theo, and Amir all have like zero accuracy. So I decided if I had the leader skill, then I would almost have max accuracy on all of them. Because for those of you that don't know, max accuracy in Giants B10 is 45. 
So anything above 45 is like 100%. But so Amir's leader skill is 41. So all you need is 4% on your team, and it's basically like having 100. But so the whole team basically has 100 accuracy. My Vero and Bella already had max accuracy before the leader skill, but I wanted the accuracy lead so I could do the attack debuff from Bernard. And then you, you'll you see on the boss, I get a lot of dots because all three Ifrits have a first skill that does two dots or whatever, a dot one dot for two turns. But so you get quite a bit of dots, which is kind of nice, I guess. I mean, it's better than not getting dots. And so, yeah, that's why I chose the leader skill. Um, ways that you could improve this team if you do want to improve it is obviously the first thing you can do to make it faster is find some way to get attack buff in there. Um, my best recommendation for those of you that could pull this off would be switch Bernard and Bella for something like Chasun and maybe Emma or something. So then you get, you'll still have double healers, you'll have attack buff, you'll have defense buff, and you'll still have buff strip. So if you could do that, that'd be ideal. But some way to put attack buff in there would just be preferable. Um, of course, you could replace one of the Ifrits for it. But if you replaced Theo or Amir, you would lose damage. And if you replaced Vera, you would lose the cleanse. So it might be easiest to replace um, Bernard or Bella. So I'll show you guys the runes on these real quick. Um, here's the Amir. You can see the skill ups here. He's got two skill ups. Uh, he's on Revenge, Blade, Shield. Um, preferably, he would just be on like Fatal Blade or something. But... I didn't have fatal runes for him. So I'll just, I'll let you guys see these, the stats. And I'll just go over the ones that you should focus on if you're going to try and replicate this team. Uh, just worry about the crit damage, the crit rate, speed, attack. Um, of course, you could get more HP if you wanted, but it works with this low HP. So I'm not really worrying about it. And then uh, ideally, you could get at least four accuracies. And then with the leader skill right here, you'll get max accuracy. So that's what you should look for in a mirror. Um, I have mine on speed, crit damage, and attack. So next is Theo. Okay, I'm clicking on him, but it's not doing it. Okay, there we go. Uh, revenge, shield, will. Um, again, ideally you do like violent, Reve violent blade or like fatal blade or something, swift blade. Um, the stats to look for is hopefully like four accuracy. And then look at the crit damage, crit rate, speed, attack. And this guy actually has like 11,000 HP. Sorry, not 11. 17,000 HP. So he's actually tanky enough to survive a little bit. But uh, you, uh, you saw Amir survived and he wasn't quite as tanky. But Amir also has element advantage. So that could help a little bit. But you don't need stats this good to do it, to use this team. Um, these stats aren't insane or anything. But I'm sure you could get away with weaker runes. Here's my Vero. Uh, he actually is max skilled. He's on swift energy. Ideally, you'd have it on, on violent. But uh, note the accuracy, the speed, the HP, and the defense. Uh, you don't need it this fast, especially for giants. You don't need it that fast. And you don't need it that tanky, but prefer I mean, preferably you'll get it as fast and tanky as possible. I have him on speed, HP, and defense. I think I forgot to show my 246 on Theo. So if I did, it's speed, crit damage, attack, just like a mirror. Okay, and then I'll show the Bernard runes real quick. He's max skilled. He's on a swift broken, which is kind of the standards for Bernard, I guess. Most Because I have my fastest runes on him. Um, so I when I was building this, I was just focusing on speed. But if you're going to use him for, if you want to use him for giants, I'd recommend, like I said, get the accuracy. So if you're using the accuracy leader skill, you only need four. But so, I mean, that's not really a big worry. But so make it fast and tanky, basically. And then my last guy is Bella. So I have, I actually do have Bella on Violent. Uh, this is pretty much the preferred build. Violent Energy, Violent Guard, Violent Focus, whatever. Violent something. Um, he's got the accuracy. Not the best speed in the world, but 180 is okay. And then some HP and some defense. So that's this team. Uh, if you want to see any other videos, just mention in the comments. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, also just tell me in the comments. Um, 
And then if this team isn't quite working for you, you could also, uh, depending on how your team is ruined and stuff, mess around with the leader skills because some people are going to want the crit rate. I didn't personally need it. Some people are going to want the HP. Once again, I didn't really need it. I needed the accuracy one though. So uh, you can play around and depending on how your runes are looking, you can switch the leader skill accordingly. But yeah, I think that's really all I have for today's video though, guys. So may the best year of today's be the worst year tomorrow.